What are we going to do then? I don't want to go around to Gary's. Go away with Mum. I want to go away, get out of this place. So boring, never anything to do. I don't know what's the matter with you, love. We're bored. That's what's the matter. Well, why don't we go to the Infox office and take cable tennis? Good idea. That's where Jennifer is. I've got to remember where there's records of her. I'm not another game of table tennis. Well, what's wrong with table tennis? I'm sick of table tennis. You don't want to play because I slashed you last time. That's right, she did. No, she didn't. Anyway, what do you know? You've always got them things on. I reckon they keep your head stuck together. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. I'm blind in the table channel. Well, come on, then. I don't want to play any more table tennis. I'm sick of table tennis. I want to live. I want to have a good time. Come on, Jane. You know what it's like? Yeah, it's like a big spot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do then? Give us a squeeze. Oh. Let's have a party. No way to have a party, stupid. Here, let's play chicken on the track. Let's have a bit of a laugh. It's better than hanging around. That's wicked. Bugs me first. Could have brought a Tesco trolley. That's good for a laugh. Why don't we go to Dave's? He's got some really good videos. Oh, that's really hard. Come on, I dare you. Look, I'd just rather go to Jennifer's. I was going to take those records tonight. It's quicker this way. No, it isn't. She's right, it isn't. Anyway, crossing the track's stupid. Well, if you think you're so stupid, you go round a long way and we'll see you in a week or so, chicken. I'm not a chicken, idiot. Well, come on, Jane. Oh, I don't know why you want to do it anyway. You're mad. I don't want to end up dead. I'm going home, you lot can get squashed for all I care. I've heard of people being electrocuted by those overhead lines. Yeah, and on the track. Some people get splattered by the train. It's really gruesome. And why? I'll tell you why, they're stupid. You've got to use your brains in this game. Look, there's nothing on the track, nothing for miles. See for yourself. Oh, come on, let's stop talking about it and do it. Go on, Jane. You go home to your mum. Have a chicken dinner, it'll suit you. Yeah, well, it's better than ending up looking like one, idiot. Oh, come on, Jane. Nothing's going to happen to us. It's just a load of stories. Honestly, Shirley, I don't know what you see in this lot. See you later. Oh, she's just a pain. I don't know why she gets like that sometimes. She's got no bottle, that's her problem. Hey, there's a really good horror thing on TV. We're going to miss it if we don't go back. Oh, come on, you lot. Let's have a laugh. Let's be dangerous. I think I can hear a train coming. I got me! Sam, will you stop mucking about? We're nearly there. Oh, here comes the ghost train. Woo Who's he going to pick for his ghostly crew? There'll be blood on the tracks, you bet. Darren, just stop it. It's like those horror movies where the star ends up with a face like the Anthony. Yeah, but that's not real. It's only actors and makeup. I've got a book on it. Just shut up, the lot of you will get over. Well, easy. We are the champions. We are the champions. Easy. Come on, Andy. I thought you wanted to see that TV programme. I'm coming. Well, I'm not going to miss it. Come on, Andy. You're always too slow. The way of his headphones, they slam down. Do we have another chicken here? I'm coming. It's turned chicken. What is it, Andy? Think the ghost train's going to get you? We're we gonna wait for him. We'll be here forever. We'll send over your tea, Andy. It's just a wee. Oh, stop it, Darren. He's just upset with all James' silly talk. Come on, Andy. It's all right. The line's only live when the train's coming. The railway line and the overhead cables have electricity running through them all the time, not just when a train is coming. They are live even on Christmas and New Year's Day. This is a real waste of time. I don't know why he hangs around with us anyway. Here, Andy. 
Why don't you go home with Jane? You're both chicken. I'll put a sock in it, Darren. Oh, he's so hard. All you've got to do is walk across. It won't kill you. The electric rail has 630 to 750 volts of electricity running through it all the time. This is three times more powerful than the electricity supply in your home. It will easily kill you. If you're lucky, it will just seriously burn or disfigure you. Come on, chicken. He's probably going to lay an egg. Come on, Andy, get your act together. We're going to miss that program. You're all right. This track's as dead as those overhead cables. The overhead electric cable has 25,000 volts of electricity running through it. It's live all the time. It will easily kill you. You don't even have to touch it, as the electricity can jump. If you're lucky, you'll just get seriously burned and disfigured. Come on, Andy! Come on! Oh, Andy. Come on. You're, you're always so slow! Come on, we're going to have to go and help him. This is stupid. I'm going in in a minute. I've had enough of this. Come on, Andy, we're going. I think I can hear a train coming. Well, I can hear something. Andy, come on, you've really done it! He's left. He's having a sleep. You're tired, Andy. Shut up, Darren, he's hurt. Come on, let's go and get him. We well, can't just leave him there. It's a joke. If the train comes, it'll see him and stop. The normal speed of an express train is between 175 and 225 kilometers an hour. It weighs over 400 metric tons. It will take at least two kilometers to stop in an emergency. It cannot swerve. It can only travel in a straight line. It will hit and crush whatever gets in its way. Come on! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Be sick. I just thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. Every year, over 200 people are killed on the railway. So I ran with him between these coaches and I thought what was on the floor was burning rags. And when I got closer, I could hear this child was screaming and crying. His clothes were actually on fire. His hair was all scorched, his face was all scorched, his trousers were all burnt off him. What had happened, he'd climbed up between the coaches, come in contact with the overhead wire and 25,000 volts, he'd just thrown him on the floor. Apart from the injuries and that, his clothes, he had one of these you know, padded jackets and it was just burning. You must not touch anyone who has been electrocuted by the overhead cables. As the current passes through them, you risk being electrocuted. You should call the police or British Rail staff. I uh, was about to pass over the crossing with the barri half barriers down, and this person just walked out in front of my train. I made an uh, immediate application of the brakes, uh, but it was too late, we were too close to the crossing, and the next thing I know, the train had come to a stand, and we'd hit this person. After carrying out the procedures I had to do for cutting off the power and informing people, I walked back and I could see this body just laying there in the middle of the track. Um, we'd cut one of the legs off and there was this blood. I remember thinking to myself, it looked just like a piece of meat laying there in the track. You know, it weren't a person no more. Do not cross at a level crossing when the lights are flashing or the barriers are down because it means that a train is coming and it will hit and crush
whatever gets in its way. When we arrived there, there was two ambulance men giving resuscitation to a little boy. Uh, apparently he'd been standing on the rail and him and his friends had been trying to put planks of wood across the track. Well, as he stood on the rail, he's received a shock off the third rail, about 600, 750 volts. Um, we later found this caused him to have a heart attack. The heart attack caused the little boy to die on his way to the hospital. The most distressing part of it all for me, as I'd previously seen incidents on in the railway where people had been hit by trains, you couldn't identify them because they'd been smashed and battered so much, but this little boy just look, looked like he was asleep. You must not touch anyone who has been electrocuted on the track. As the current passes through them, you risk being electrocuted. You should call the police or British Rail staff. There was a lad about 18 years of age who'd been out with some friends. He decided uh, to go home and use the railway as a shortcut for getting home. He was walking along the track and had got some mile and a half when a high-speed train actually hit him. Uh, <clears throat> when we had the report and we went straight to the location, uh, what we saw was absolutely horrific. His body had been cut into several pieces. It was spread over about 50 yards of track. Um, and it's not just the limbs that are taken away from the body. The hole inside is out on the track and spread over the track as well. We found a cross and chain and a key in his, uh, one of the pockets of his trousers. So we showed the parents the cross and chain. The mother identified this as being her son's. And then I had to ask if I could try the front door with this key um, to be absolutely certain that it was going to be the same person. Unfortunately, it was. And um, the parents then asked if they could go and see their son. It was very, very difficult to try and explain to them that it was absolutely pointless going to see him because there was nothing at all that they would recognize as being their son. He was so badly injured. Each year, over 350 people suffer major burns and loss of limbs, either by being hit by a train or electrocuted by the live rail or overhead cables. What had actually happened is when Daniel had got onto the train, he had met a group of friends. They thought they would have a laugh and try getting out of the train and riding on the outside for a short period of time and taking it in turns. And when it was Daniel's turn, he climbed out of the train and got onto the roof. After a short while, he was hit by an overhead bridge, which knocked him onto the track, and he died. He was 16. When I saw him in the chapel, I, I cradled him in my arms like he was a baby and I cuddled him and I kept kissing him and it was then that I realised it was final that Danny wouldn't grow up anymore and he would never get married and he would never be the computer whiz kid that he was going to be and he couldn't go to college and he couldn't play football and I just knew he would never come back. Here this child was screaming and crying. His clothes were actually on fire. I just thought it would be a bit of a laugh. The parents actually wanted to go and see him and I had to explain why they couldn't see him, how there was absolutely nothing of their son that they would recognise. <laughs>